Yo everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the best way to earn money in 2023 in Lumber Tycoon 2. And this new meta comes directly from the Christmas event of 2022, as we got some brand new items that will help making money in this specific way so so much easier. Anyways, before we start, you are going to need a few items. You're going to need a Utility Vehicle XL, a Snowmobile, a Frost Axe, and two TNT for every time you want to enter the Tega. If you don't know how to get TNT, all you have to do is go across the bridge which will cost 100 money to lower. Follow this white road until you get around this rock. And head straight until you see Bob Shack. In Bob's shack, there will be 2 TNT which you can buy for $220 each. Again, you will need 2 TNT for every time you're going to enter the Tega. Now for the Snowmobile and Frost Axe, you will need to buy them from other players unless you already have the gifts which went off sale at the end of the Christmas 2022 event. I recommend heading over to Afton Server which will be linked down in the description if you need to go and buy these items. Now the first thing you want to do is load all of your supplies into the Vault All Purpose Hauler. Then, you want to drive your Vols All-Purpose Hauler towards the boulders in the Tega biome. From there, using one of your two TNT, get out and place it in the middle of the boulders. Make sure that you run far away from the TNT as it will kill you if it explodes too close. The TNT will also push away your items, so make sure you're parked far away. Now, once you get through the passageway, leave your second TNT on this wall right here. This is just so that you don't forget it when you're coming back later. Now from there you want to go directly towards this winter cabin that you can see in the distance. Next to the winter cabin you'll see a small hole in the mountain. This is where the ice trees are going to be coming out of once you chop them down. This is also the spot where you will leave your Vols All Purpose Hauler. From there take your snowmobile and ride it from here all the way up the mountainside. There are many reasons as to why you want to leave this truck here and take the snowmobile up the mountain. The first of which being that it is much faster than taking the normal truck up instead. The second pro of bringing the snowmobile up here is that you can navigate this part much easier. While the snowmobile turn radius is pretty bad, it isn't too hard to get the snowmobile over this little area. And in the event that you fall, all you have to do is get down and rotate the snowmobile back again. But if this just really isn't for you, all you have to do is pick up the snowmobile and walk it to the other side of the section. Once you finish that really sketchy part, hop on the snowmobile and make your way to the top of the Tega Peak. Anyways, now that you're on the Tega Peak, you're going to want to chop down 5 to 6 ice trees. I recommend getting the bigger trees as surprisingly they're much easier to store in your truck as their branches all intertwine together. Simply use your frost axe to chop down your trees and send them each down the slide. And once all your trees are down the slide, you can go down yourself. And when you're down, you want to start loading all of your frost trees into your truck. And once all your trees are nicely loaded in your truck, you can simply leave your snowmobile behind. By leaving the snowmobile here, you can always come back to it if you do another load later in the same server, or you can just respawn it if you leave. Anyways, now you just want to drive back to the entrance of the Tega and use your second TNT that you place on this ledge to explode the rocks. The fun truly begins once you get back to your base, as you now have to sawmill all of this wood and then sell it in the wood drop-off. Now if you want to be real fancy, you could always make an automated sawmill system. And I'll leave a video in the description explaining how to build that if you want to go in that route. However, since frostwood is so small and easy to manage, you can always just chop it up and put it into a sawmill. You don't even need a very good sawmill, as the thickest frostwood pieces aren't even that big. Anyways, if all you have is a single sawmill, just follow what I'm doing here.
Now you've stumbled all of your wood, it's time to take it to the wood drop-off. Once at the wood drop-off, I recommend doing this technique to get the wood quickly into the machine. All I'm doing here is jumping right as I'm grabbing a piece of wood. This transfers my character's momentum into the piece of wood itself, making it fly into the drop-off machine. Using this method, you can get the whole truck of ice wood into the machine in record fast times. In just over 15 minutes of labor, I was able to earn $15,000, which means if you were to repeat this method for a whole hour, you would earn upwards of $60,000. For reference, in an hour, you can only earn about $30,000 to $40,000 using lava wood according to Jack UK. And that's without considering that frost wood itself is much easier to handle than lava wood as it's small and fits into many starter sawmills. So yeah, going forward in 2023, I expect this to be the most used method for gaining money legitimately. Not only is it super fun, but it also rewards you a lot of money and is pretty easy to do. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. However, I will be doing a giveaway on three snowmobiles and three frost axes down in the description in my Discord server. Going into the new year, I'm going to be making this server much more active, and I thought what better way to kick it off than by giving away some snowmobiles and frost axes so you guys can do this method that I showed off in this video. Along with giveaways, my Discord server also has places where you can suggest new videos for me to make, ask me questions about my life or YouTube channel, and get sneak peeks on videos that are coming up soon. If you want to chat with me, my Discord server is going to be the place to be, as I'll be active in that chat almost daily. Anyways, that's enough self-promotion for today. Before I go, I just want to say thank you to all of you for giving me such a wonderful year here on YouTube, and I hope to see you all back here again in 2023. And for one last time, this is going to be it for me. Goodbye!